expect this at this particular moment. Just a few seconds away from getting it underway. Umpire Simon Meredith with the first bounce. The 2017 AFL Grand Final. Underway. Jacobs in the middle and a free already. Crowd will erupt the hold on Cochin so he gets the first possession of the game. It's a poor one. Rory Laird just slots back into the slot. Laird immediately goes for the one-on-one -on -one out wide with Cameron and Hawley. Cameron did well, but then Basham Hawley caught him in the tackle. The little handball to Knight. Knight a high ball. Tex good position. Backing back Rance with a ripper. And Alex Rance has got the matchup on Jenkins. Asprey on Tex Walker. And that's what... Rance is going to want to do all day, be able to come off Jenkins and make sure he ha plays that intercept role like he does so well. Short to press here, spreads it wider to Grimes. It's a good mark by Rance, it's a great way for him to start. Yeah, you're right, Liggy, but that's what Jenkins can't allow Rance to do. He has to engage Rance, has to go to dangerous spots. Grimes talked about keeping it simple early, Caddy was good. Hurley a left footer, so he has to get the right angle here. He does to Vloston. What a month and a half Vloston has had. Short kick, OK, and then Curvis. It opens up a little, maybe. Now to Martin. Martin around one, thought about it. Little kick around the corner, a little ugly on the half volley. Here's Rioli. Rioli, 45. And couldn't quite get the journey. Tiger's still very much in the hunt here. Townsend went to ground. He didn't need to. Lever was wearing him like a glove. In they come. Ball will stay in there, I think, and we'll have a ball up inside the attacking 50 at the punt run in for the Tigers. McIntosh just couldn't get clear. Gee, Rioli had that length last week, didn't he? You've almost backed him in. So Revolt to do the work. Jacob, so important. Brilliant in the prelim final last week. They work it to Laird again, to Crouch. Two guys that have kept on getting the ball all year. It's a magnificent kick by Crouch to another left footer in Atkins. So, he said, gee, it's good to be in the back of the Ute today. I dreamed about that as all my life, Atkins, to play in a match like this. A little tricky there. Okay, though. Laird a lot of the ball early. And up and under, and then Curvis got back, got a little fist away. Cameron almost broke the tackle. Lynch didn't quite get the half volley. It spilled out, and Lynch gets the source. Source called to play on, has to. Important by Greg. Good mark in the slot. Pay, pay on. on. Butler, so it's play on. Adelaide will come back and have another crack. In the middle of that with Tex, couldn't get hold of it. McIntosh, the boy out of Pinjarra in Western Australia. Funny little nervous kick off the slider. Stakes. Richmond setting up really well. You can already see, Lingy, they're not, a, not going to allow Adelaide to come through the corridor like they did last week in the prelim with those sh short chip picks. There it is, the arm, it didn't quite attach, but the Brownlow medalist got it away. It wasn't his best kick. Cameron couldn't get it. McIntosh stolen by Laird. He's had plenty of the footy here early. Cameron went and got it again. Fancy handball. Laird to Crouch. Crouch short ball. Congestion, fumbles, pressure, everything going on. It just took a little touch of class, some quick hands, and then Matty Crouch to have the composure and sort of blazing away, lowered the vision and hit up Rory Sloan perfectly. He had every right there just to throw that one on the boot, Matty Crouch. 18 for the year, but there won't be any like this for Rory. Wait until you hear this. Very close to the man on the mark. Lights him up here at the MCG. And a ballistic attack on the football by Adelaide in their forward half. Yeah, absolutely. It was a clever handball by Charlie Cameron. One over the head. Right, looking just great composure from Crouch. Didn't blaze away. Lowered the eyes. Gee, that has been important early, hasn't he? He's a straight shooter. Tim and Richo, just okay, the right. crowd. I mean, the support for Adelaide. 
Yeah, plenty of support. When Rory Sloan kicked that goal, there was a massive cheer. I reckon 60-40, but they're loud, the Adelaide Crows fans. They're in the game. That's what we want, a crouch going well early. The seedsman, he knows how to play a big game on this ground, but not as big as this. Jenkins couldn't quite. Cameron looking dangerous. Left foot to the goal place. Not quite for Bronson. Eddie, they've got two. Brooks has got his first. He just makes you nervous. Doesn't matter how well you've played in the last six weeks. He just puts a shiver up your spine, doesn't it? Look at a couple of those Tiger defenders are a little bit nervous there. Exactly. A little bit fumbly. Charlie Cameron very sore here as well, guys. And he is not looking good, Charlie Cameron. This is what the heat early on in the grand final can do. Nick Foston, usually so composed and so clean. That one got away from him. Well finished by Eddie. The challenge for Floston now. Push that aside. You can't do anything about that one. You can do something about the next. Charlie Cameron looking very sore inside the Adelaide Ford 50 as well. Martin. Little free here. He's starting to run it out a bit now, but he's going to stay on the ground. Free kick, Dustin Martin. Thank you. So Cameron... Looks to have recovered somewhat. And now Dusty. Tigers can't afford to concede another one here. Cochin. Told to go. Douglas almost got a piece, but long ball. Here comes Ray That's exactly what his coach would have asked of him. Launch at the footy. Doesn't matter whether you mark it, bring it to ground. That's a terrific mark. What a mark from Rewalt. A grand final mark. Now, Duck, this is where he's got to do his work. Well, we spoke about the breeze. Very blustery down there. He has to kick it straight at the goals, BT. Don't allow for the breeze. Straight at the middle. Huge opportunity needed to be... Capitalised here, and he's just missed it to the left. He was looking for the breeze, exactly as you said. We stood in that spot before the yeah, game, Duck. Yeah, we did. And we said... And it feels like it's blowing strong across your body, isn't it, from left to right? So he allowed for that, and it just went straight. So Hardigan from Brown. He with a careful kick, but he's coughed it up, perhaps. Grid couldn't quite get to it. We saw in that marking contest from Jack Rewalt, spectacular grab. Jacob Townsend with the job on Jake Lever. Just holding him out of that one, making sure that Lever can't jump and help out Daniel Talia. He's going to have an important role again, Townsend. Nankervis probably just won it. Graham couldn't quite. Greenwood got through. Gets it to centre wing. Rance won that little battle against Otten that time. Prestia to Vlosten. High ball wide. Still in play. No mark taken. Bubbling around. Still bubbling around towards that line. Lever released quickly to McKay. Right under Hardigan. Hardigan with some time. Now, has to be a little careful. He goes to centre half. The centre of the ground, rather. Walker had it picked off. McIntosh. Butler. Can he get himself into a scoring position or get someone else into it? Edwards. They bubble it. Ned Curvis with a left foot to the goal square. Mark not taken, I don't think. Adelaide go away. Just got away with that one. Atkins dropped an easy mark. He tries to get rid of Graham. He's a tackling specialist, Graham. He just keeps coming at you. Laird again with the ball very, very wide. And a throw in here. And here is the Cameron injury, boys. One metre. Thank you. Can't see a lot from that, but maybe just ankle. a knee to the calf or perhaps ankle, as you said, getting caught underneath that tackle. He's going to try and walk it off. Go down to Richo and Tim in a minute and find out Edwards. Quickly back to Graham, to Prestia. Prestia, a little bit of space. A spearing ball into Rewalt. Now, this one's a tough angle. A really tough angle. Five or six metres inside the boundary line. And then Jack Rewalt with his second set shot. He's playing Talia right, though. Staying on the move. You don't want half time to come and Richmond have had to lots of misses and that be the reason they're not in the game. They've got to start scoring and here's an opportunity for Rewald, his second. Perhaps a little bit of left to right late on it and once again a behind. And 
Charlie Cameron again, boys. Look, it might be... Uh, it looked like the knee of Brewer went into his calf there. I think that's the trouble. The lower left leg. Uh, he's just been doing some run-throughs in front of us here. I think he'll be back on soon. So Brown goes longer this time to a contest. Got across, Revolt did well. Vlosten back to Revolt. Maybe this time. Yes! No again. Three shots on goal within about three minutes. All of them different. And the Tigers trail by nine points. But Adelaide finding it a little hard to get it out of the back 50 right now. So a different tactic here. Brown to himself and then gets the ball right down the line. Gets to the back. Broad stands up okay to Ellis. Ellis. McIntosh demanding the footy, Graham back to Broad, sloppy quick kick, he really panicked a little, had a little bit more time then, I've just been watching Daniel Rioli who's coming to the bench, bench at the moment, I've noticed on his wrist on the bandage there, he has run and chase on that wrist bandage, there it is there, you can see run and chase they are the two basic instructions for him today, Daniel Rioli off hands, Edwards Martin went through. Graham did as well. Nice handball. Lambert's intercepted though. Adelaide on their way here. Seedsman, one of their better kickers, and this looks good. Cameron looks to have recovered. Thought about giving it to Eddie. I think it'll eventually get there anyway. Lynch now. Little low ball. Gee, got down well and marked that Alton's. Well done. 65 from the city end. Walker gives a half lead. It's put over the top of his head and really gave him no chance. That is Flost and Marks. No, you're right, BT. That's how you don't want the ball coming in as a forward. If you Taylor Walker or any of the close forwards, sat on the head, Rance or Floston or any of those Richmond defenders will cut that one off all day. He's had a shaky start, Floston. It was a good mark, but gee, he's coughed it up to Jacobs. So how does Jacobs go? He goes short, crouched, prominent early, no surprise there. And then Crouch with a little dinky one. It's a good kick. And Knight just protected the football so well. Stuck his backside out. It was a brilliant kick, wasn't it? Yeah. Well weighted. There's some, definitely some nerves out there for a few players. Soon Jack Rewalt just doesn't seem to have the penetration in his kicking. Vlosten, fumble, turn the ball over. And that's coming up in the kicking efficiency. 78% Adelaide, 52% Richmond. Ten goals, four from set shots. He's got a good record. That is coming back, but no, always to the near side. So Adelaide missed one. One thing the Crows want to do is they keep releasing a handball. They don't just want to go back and kick over the mark, and it just doesn't allow the Richmond defence to get set. It's really obvious. Brandon Ellis changing the balls out of the bag behind the goals there. Didn't like the one they were playing with. Floston. Very, very wide high ball. Gee, did well, Caddy, to allow Brian Smart uncontested in the end. Really good protection of his teammate there. Play on. Play on. So Grimes told to go by umpire Stevic. And he does down the line. Lever there. Up goes Talia. Trying to knock it on was rewalked successfully. Lambert looking out wide for Townsend. Crouch. The blind pressure. They work it to their half forward line here, the Tigers. So, Greg Jenkins. Wouldn't have dreamt about that a few years ago, would you? That mismatch seemingly. Greg trying to negate it. Brad Crouch again kicking the ball out of there. Hooley onto it and gets a bit on it. Talia read it well. Short to Hardigan. He's got some time. Short again. This is that switch of the angle, isn't it? Yep, and then Crouch. He concedes this time to Laird. So Laird and Crouch, so much of the ball this season, so much of the ball early in the final. Just wait, clear it out. Time back on. Play on. So Kelly, he's going to go defensively. Down that line to Walker. Walker worked over by Rant. And now Vlosten has to stop and prop concedes. Yeah, he comes back and buys himself a little bit of time. Finds an opportunity here with Brandon Ellis who's had another very, very good year, Ellis. He's 106th consecutive game for the Tigers. Rance hammers the ball long. Fairly wide, I might add. Almost a mark there taken by Castagna. Townsend went down, brought the ball back in. He'll go here. 
They'll ping him and they do. And a good Adelaide. call. And this will mean that Greenwood will have the free. You can see him drag it back in. Lost back it. Mark thought Lockley. about getting it out. Made no attempt. Good decision. And this is where Richmond have set up quite well. Not allowing Adelaide to come back through the corridor, but making them kick down the line. Look at that massive crowd in the background. Around about the 100,000 mark. Tex deliberately trying to knock the ball on. Hooley got hold of it. Goes back inside to Lambert. Lambert swings onto the right boot. Goes direct. Levers lining this one up over the back. Talia. Little knock down. Greenwood went and got it. Handball off. Fast hands by the both crowd brothers there. To Laird. Couldn't control it. Martin. Little, little handball wide. Here goes Ellis. Ellis winds it up. High ball to about 30 metres out. Rebound again. Big fly. Almost got the crumbs as well. Atkins' hands were good. Matt Crouch again, beautiful kick to Lynch. This is what Lynch does so well. He links up and then delivers. That ball's danger. Oh, Atkins shouldn't have... What a turnaround. Which one are going to go quick now? Adelaide aren't going to be able to get set. And numbers back. Got to go. So Lambert to Hurley and then Curvis gives it to Floston. And then Floston... Kicking wide, good looking, kicking away, gave the chance to Castagna, goes back inside, Butler can finish, no he does the team thing. Gee, what a turnover in the middle of the ground, and then Caddy goes on, and the Tigers have got their first. Do you reckon Atkins would like his time over again? Yeah, that'll settle the nerves a little bit for the Tigers, that goal. Absolutely. No doubt about that. Floston dodged a bullet, bullet there, didn't he? Yeah. Yep. Tex dropped the mark, gave away the free kick, then the advantage. Dusty's had one big moment. You just feel like suddenly they've settled, don't you? Yeah. Important. Here's the moment, clumsy by Floston, gave away the free kick to Rory Atkins. Had to know that there was heat around him. Just give it back to Tex there, but Josh Caddy says thank you very much. That'll settle the nerves of the Tigers players. It will indeed, the pressure cooker just releasing a little there, Lingy, you're quite right. There's Kelly and you talk about nerves. Atkins now on his favoured left side, not to the advantage of Betts, although he did some good work. Grimes got him under the footy, rid of the hands. McIntosh needs support, got it wide and pressed here, who's getting plenty of the footy at this stage. And Jake Lever. Oh, play on. That half back, good fly. Atkins to Laird. Many people back this guy in the Norm Smith medal, and Jack Rewalt has just run him down from behind. Good things happening for the Tigers in the last five minutes. So Revolt, a lot of the ball, three shots on goal, a couple of good contests. He goes to about 55 minutes. Castagna, the flyer. Presti got a bad bounce. Just got away from Graham. Greenwood's little kick good to Laird. Laird, prolific. Gets it wider to Kelly. And then Kelly with that trusty left. Jenkins in a contest. Rance ate it up beautifully. Belted the ball away. Got away from Presti. Kelly, OK. Brad Crouch finding some room. Good kick to Jenkins. Jenkins to Lynch. And then Lynch quickly on to a one-on-one. -on -one at the back, lurking Cameron. He looks fit enough at the minute. Brig did well. Got back. Ashby, there's a win for the Tigers. Back inside and then Curvis didn't release it quite well enough. Greg is bubbling. Holding. What a wonderful contest. And Richmond come out with it. They both look like they need a rest at the moment. Griggs got the free. Get on, play on. Northern side of the MCG. Been no rain since the game started. There have been showers, piles. Caddy is playing a good game. Back over it. Started well, Caddy. And looking solid. Caddy keeping it reasonably close to the boundary line. Didn't want to go in the middle and force the turnover. Hardigan. Attempted mark has been paid here by umpire Matt Stevick. So Hardigan to really slow things down. This is really the first one or two minute period in the game where players have had a chance to regather themselves. 
Then Curvis knocked down Hooley, couldn't get it. Douglas to Crouch. He was being pursued and worried by Graham. Edwards, very, very evasive indeed. Here goes Dusty, couldn't get through the middle. They come at him. He gives it off to Edwards. Shocking kick inside 50. Still a chance here, though. Kelly had a difficult one to control. Look at them. Here they come. The Mosquito Fleet couldn't get it done, no. And Adelaide, brilliant. Atkins asked a lot of Douglas. Ellis wraps him up. So Ellis is free kick. So they're tackling in their pressure, starting to turn this game, creating great turnovers. Goes wide, wants Martin, reasonable spot, Brown at the back. Martin won the footy. He wheeled his way through it. Little kick forward, early to kick a goal. He does. Big that was. Well, Hurley's been as good as Laird, I reckon. He's bounced off half-back. And Martin's done just what you wanted Martin to do in this opening turn. And every time the Crows have tried to come up the corridor, they've turned the footy over. So do they do they stop being brave in that area? Richmond might already have a little win a if they get a little bit nervous. It's just what Dusty does. Clean with his hands, attracts two or three to him, and then can have the vision to find a teammate. And that is outstanding finish by Basha Hawley. It's a 30-70, and he wins the footy two-on-one, as you said. First time today the Tigers have been in front. Basha Hawley electrifying the mob here at the G. And the clearance to go with it. The skipper, high ball. Rewalk probably won't get there. Talia at full stretch. Here comes Rioli on Laird. Laird, his 10th touch of the quarter. Got the little handball off. Brown was caught. The pressure was there. Crouch, beautiful interception here. Look at the Tigers' pressure. Unreal. This is what they're known for this year. Cotchen, little ball, Graham. Graham threw it. Whoa. He'll be penalised for that. And eventually Adelaide caught up with him. And straight away they're set up well, Richmond. Adelaide can get the switch on, but they're not going to be able to go far still. So Lever just buying some time here, now going some metres. Can he deliver? Nut, nah, Hawley almost cut it off. Now Walker, so good with ball in hand. Look at that. He spears it to Otten. Otten tries to get on his bike, goes inside, gets it to Knight. Knight loads it up the full forward. Where's Betts? So against Jenkins, short to Prestia. He's had a good final series, Prestia. He was outstanding against Geelong, wasn't he? Short to Hooley, no mark. Walker picks it off, and then, and then Prestia gets the smother. Uh, Richmond are doing those little things so well, and Hooley, even though he spilt that one. He was within a centimetre of cutting off another one down here on the wing. Would have created another turnover, another inside 50. Playing it beautifully at the moment, Hooley. Oh, it's an even game of football now. Both Ruckman missing it. Graham again, who's been really solid in the first quarter. Lever did well, not pay the mark because it had been tucked off the boot. Got it back inside 50. Jenkins couldn't trap the footy. Eddie Betts. Looking menacing at that end. Magnificent crowding. This grand final is, and the teams competing it, have absolutely electrified Melbourne in the competition. There's no doubt about that. A quick kick out of the pack comes to Hooley. Will they think of the transfer here, or is Hooley going to go down the line? Has a glance over, and he sees it's on here now. Kick needs to be good, a little bit over the head of Asprey. Here comes Walker, turns back, looks for help, not there. So he has to go along the ground, and that'll be out of bounds deliberately, 100%. Yep, yep. Mark, back here. So Douglas, a long kicker, we know that. So does he go to the top of the square, or does he try and find someone forward 50 here? He kicks to the top of the square, and Sloan gets his second goal. Adelaide back in front. So the kick to Asprey, not great. But Denny, well, yeah, half panic maybe. He had a little bit of a fumble. The kick was had to be paid, and then Adelaide bring it back into a hot spot. There's good pressure by Walker. Yep. 
and then that's just old fashioned footy yep. long to the top of the square front and square goal he's had a good start slow and those two goals important Old fashioned footy there, Lingy. Long to the top sometimes. of the square, front and square, Sloan. Brilliant. Just over two minutes remaining in the quarter. Adelaide by four. Look at the fans enjoying that in the background. Great knockdown by Jacobs to Sloan, and Greenwood gets involved as well. His kick wide. Broad got a fist on it. Straight here to Seedsman. The fend off is good. The handball's a little firm. Douglas went back and got it again. Too deep here for Jenkins. Rance happy to have him under the footy. And a deliberate professional fumble by Rance there just eases the pressure. And the champion's going to be tested today, isn't he, Rance? He's going to have to play one of his great games. He's so important to them down back. It'll be a great test for Josh Jenkins, too. Only the one touch so far. He's going to make sure Rance doesn't mark any of those footies, but he's also got to find a way to kick goals himself. That's what he's there to do. Adelaide with the numbers for Hurley's long kick. Uh, crouch to Greenwood and then Greenwood getting forward bets outnumbered was it touched off the boot it was Frosted's in trouble there's no way the players are going to be able to hear that and yeah. a quick whistle Just wasn't it yeah. once he realised yeah. he was in trouble now good umpire brilliant response wasn't it just a bit of common sense well done so the two big guys Nan Curvis, Greenwood, another one. Oh, that's going to hurt. Well, they just sting those goals, don't they? All the players, straight to Nan yeah, Curvis. Yeah. Letting him know that big source Jacob's on top. Getting to his head, eh? Outstanding, Sam Jacobs. Absolutely brilliant ruck work down to Hugh Greenwood. And they've had this mindset for a long time. The Crows now straight away over to Nan Kermis, over to Sean Greek. They have had a ruthless attitude. I like to see that. I think Tex was saying, your man, your man, your man. And look at Greenwood, he's inspired. A brilliant mid-air smother. It didn't come of it in the end, but it was a great effort. Greg, little kick, hurried. Brown, Lever. So just under the minute remaining in the quarter. Moving on, play on. Crows by 11. Atkins defensively. The kick forward. Betts! Didn't hang under it for long enough. Adjudicating there, Simon Meredith. Have a look at this little leap. It's a good effort. and Nan Curvis again, this time Nan Curvis trying to swat it away, Martin spinning Perriwet out of trouble, got River in the nick of time fast hands Nan Curvis, had to be really quick pressed here, Townsend here couldn't mark it so he did the right thing, look at the Tigers closing on this, Lambert nice little kick out of midair, three on one here, the punch forward, they just keep going, Kelly almost bowled over, Hardigan got the handball to Douglas, Douglas now, the kick's got to be good, it's to the one on one, here's Charlie Cameron broad chasing, Cameron can he get clean hands here, well done Broad Good effort by Broad. Happy for the boundary line. Such a nervous place for Broad to be in, as you said, BT. What an effort to get a 50-50 ball from that a stoppage. Tigers can't concede another. They've uh, just been rattled in the last couple of minutes as they were in the first couple. Greg to Prestia. A lot of the ball. Done well, Prestia. Long ball forward. And it is quarter time. Adelaide make the early running. Is there a free kick here? I think there is, Bruce. There is. To Townsend, I think. Yep. So a push out, so a free. This will have to be the biggest left to right curl of the footy you've ever seen from there. Jacobs doing the right thing, getting down on the goal line. Yep. So, one last play in the opening turn. It's a 
long way. Big kick from there. Yeah. Slightly deflating, eh? But it's only quarter time. The, tell you what, you wouldn't want to get involved with Fists of Fury Lever. Because I tell you what, if he starts bopping them out, there'll be a few scattering, Bruce. Well, I take that as a given, BT. Quarter time in the grand final, Adelaide lead. Richmond by 11 points. Really good, haven't they? Laird has had the nine touches. Hawley eight. Hawley has kicked that goal, but they're the two players at the moment that are getting off the leash at either end of the ground, but it's pretty tight everywhere else across this go. ground. Start of the second term, Adelaide lead by 11 points in the grand final. Nankervis, Martin to go and fetch it, doesn't quite. Lynch, Cochin throws himself in, tries to extricate the footy, can't. There'll be another stoppage. So Sloan with two goals in the opening turn. Hooley going down the race by the look of it. So important in that opening turn. The boys just spoke about his bounce off half back. And that goal that put Richmond in front halfway through the first quarter. Nankervis, Jacobs, Jacobs slings the handball out. McKay, Townsend runs hard at him. Lever got down low. Oh. Now he's picking the ball up. Let him go. Kelly, it is, sorry. Uh, really well umpired again. If, when you're down picking the footy up, the head's got to be protected. That's different to if you've already picked it up and you drive with your head. Gee, I thought he was very gentle on him. Gave him a little hair massage and that was about it. Here's Douglas. He put the body on the line, got there first, and then protected the ball and himself. It was well done against Lambert. I'm told there's the bench. Hooley's back up, so he looks okay. Just over 100,000 in the house, and official capacity here these days, 100,024, I'm told. Just a few more than that. Here's Seedsman. Direct entry inside 50. Rance is there. Cameron in front of Alice. Did well, Cameron. Looked a little sore early in the game, but he seems to have recovered. Bet's giving him some encouragement there. And there is part of this 100,000-plus crowd. Well, that would be a first if it is for the Crows. have never played before 100,000 in any match. 1986, the last time we had 100 in, Bruce. So Nankervis, broad under pressure. Bet swoops. High ball. Not quite going to make the goal. It's a behind, so... The danger of bets forward 50. Goal in the opening term. Adelaide, two front and centre goals, two against the Tigers in that first quarter. Flossed and long. Really good penetration with the footy here. Caddy trying to work his way through. Did well against Hardigan in the end, who flew. And, uh, gee, that was great composure there by Atkins showing. Swung in the tackle. Still got rid of it. Sloan, two first quarter goals for Rory Sloan. Here he is, looking for the little pass over the top. The Lynch. Was it touch? No. So Tom Lynch, a bit of a big cloud coming in from the south. I reckon we're going to get a short shower in a moment as well. They're kicking inside 50. Just lowering of the eyes has been impressive today for the Crows. That light rain falling there now, Richo, do you think? Yeah, it is, uh, BT. It's not heavy, but it's a little sprinkle. There's been a few light showers. I don't think there'll be anything heavy. So Lynch, kick of only 35 metres, quite close to the man on the mark. Now, what happened then... He'd forgotten or didn't check where the man on the mark was and mistimed his run and got too close. And there is some of the rain coming in from the south. So Ellis to himself gets it down that line. Jacobs, despite the caddy, big fly, and then Douglas, beautifully way to kick brilliant Rance. How he did that against Walker. Townsend had a fumble. Prestia just had to bang it onto the boot. It's a chaotic ball. Talia and Revolt, important. Jack just hangs on for a moment, causes a little spillage. Martin comes out with it to Edwards. Edwards with a good kick to Revolt. They played that so well, Richmond. Now, this is his third from similar angles, Doug. It is. He's just, his timing has been out today, hasn't it? He, he's lacked penetration. That can come with a little bit of nerves. 
Well, he kicked one around the corner to ice the game last week, didn't he? It was a little closer in than this at the other end. Does he go around the body here, Duck, or does he go straight at it? Well, given how he... He's going straight. I think he's going to go straight at it. He's kicked... He's had three shots on goal today, two from set shots. Now he goes around, around. Has it got the legs? I think it's a goal. Hadley weren't marking the line. It's going to be reviewed. Sloppy by Adelaide either way. I believe it's a goal. Can we please make sure the ball is fully over the line before it was touched? Score of you. Umpire's call is a goal. Please check that it wasn't touched before going over. Review one. The guys on the line got caught. They thought he was yep. taking the drop yep. one, Bruce. Absolutely. Yep. We all did. We all thought so clever, and he has got the goal. It'll be official in one moment. Decision on the scoreboard. Gets the goal. Well, that's huge for him. I mean, he, he's had enough of the ball, but as you said, his timing's been a bit out. He's on the scoreboard and he's contributing. And he's winning enough of the ball, Duck, isn't he? He is. He is. He's getting shots at goal. It's the most, most important thing, but he'll get a lot of confidence out of putting that one through now. Back in this way, let's Back in out here. Rain getting a little heavier. Let's see why they didn't have anyone in the goal okay, line. They'd all set back for the drop punt and just slow to react. They were indeed. That's exactly why Lingy. Cotton out of the middle. Big rain cloud coming in. We think it's going to pass quickly, though. Handball off oh, here. Rioli. Rioli's free. So Townsend will have to Rioli. give it up. Daniel Rioli first. Gee, they didn't get it back quick enough. Basher was standing there by himself for an eternity. And now Rioli. Play on. Every Adelaide player that can get back has got back. Long ball in there looking for Caddy. And right out. Well done right by out, Jake Jason. Kelly. And already those Adelaide defenders are able to take those type Put of marks. Can't Play allow on. that. That ball has to come Play to ground. On. It was a big talking point before the game, wasn't it? So yep. Kelly down that line. Sloan was in that contest. Lambert hooking back. Hardigan has been very good, by the way. Stay out. Another mark. Apart from the obvious reason of you can kick goals if it does come to ground, is you can create chaos and worry for the Adelaide defenders. If that ball is bobbling around and they can bring that pressure, you start getting inside the Adelaide players' heads. So Atkins got it from Knight and back to Atkins to Sloan. Just got it ripped off him. Little toe boat by Lambert was clever enough towards the line and then fetches it back Lambert, goes back inside Lynch. Sort of rode it. Source was good. Got it to Sloan. Sloan quickly on now. Cameron outnumbered and Rance gets back. Ellis did the right thing. Rance so courageous, so skillful. Finds Ellis. Oh, it was all of that, Bruce. It was all of that. Alex Rance. Yeah. Yeah. Was never not going to go, was he? No. Just committed very early, Duck. Alice. On preferred side, deep inside 50. Here's the two Ruckman. Jacobs just wanting to get it near the boundary line and Greg deliberately letting it out and there he goes, he gets rewarded Greg, he knew exactly what was going on no one checks the mark, so he gets a really deep entry, perhaps a high hold off the ball, up goes Tali with a big thump, in goes uh, the crunching tackle by Alice, it was an absolute pole driving tackle and Richmond with the ball up inside there, 50 on this occasion Sean Ryan, the umpire in charge here, came back, Bruce, after a couple of years off. He's had a great story as well. He has, and they've started well. Martin trying to find some space. Touched, obviously, on the way through. Laird couldn't quite. Revolt did all right. Spreads it. Rioli and Atkins. Atkins prolific early. One bull in the first quarter. Rioli, well done. Belts it back. Laird on the up. Good. It's a seedsman. Normally a very, very long kick. And that's what he does. He puts Cameron almost into a space. A fumble by Asprey. And Cameron's off. Knight's running hard at centre-half forward. Charlie just goes bang with a long one. Knight doesn't quite get the bounce. Oh, and he does it again. The champ gets back. Gets back and saves the day. Wow, oh, that was a certain goal, wasn't it? The kick was right by Cameron over the top. And they just made a mess of it, but Rance came to the rescue. Hooley out wide. Ashbury having a battle there with Cameron. Beautiful spin and a drilling kick. Finds Riley Knight. 
as no, he, uh, confident. Asprey hasn't had a good minute. A couple of fumbles. Short ball to Walker, but the angle is greater. The kick is shorter. And Tex is a very good kick. Rain ceasing here. Jane Bunn keeping his update with the radar in the background here. He said this one's just about past. And Walker lines up. Talk about big for players' confidence. Only the one touch in that first quarter, Duck. The skipper want to get himself involved in this game with a big goal here. One kick for Walker. Lingy, you're right. And across the face, kept in play here by Jenkins. Keeps it alive, gives them another little opportunity. Had to get rid of it, the Tigers. You heard the umpire's call, and they'll be happy with that behind. Just didn't hit it, Walker, did he? That's nope. so unlike Tex. We've all been there before, Bruce. Yep. <laughs> So Huli, he goes to himself and now normally long and he does and he gets it to about 80, 90 metres away. Sloan just read it better than uh, Edwards. Uh, hold it's there. been huge, Rory Sloan. Hold Absolutely. There. Couple of goals, lots of other things, Lingy. He sets it up. Jenkins the big fly. She grinds it well there. He just worked Jenkins under the ball and Rance plays this role so brilliantly. They like to keep their defenders close together, don't they, in those situations, the Tigers. So Rance almost up the centre wing. Lever good, punching it away. Seedsman, can he keep it in? He doesn't. And a stoppage between centre wing and half forward. We spoke before the game that contested possession was king in this game for these two teams and for grand finals in general. Richmond now is just starting to creep on top, plus four in that area. And then they're starting to get a little bit of fluent play on the back of it. And even when they don't quite win it, they're there to put pressure on. Look at this, Lingy. Jacobs with Grigg there. It was a poor throw-in. Didn't allow Jacobs to get the advantage he'd hoped. And they're wanting deliberate here, but they won't get this one. So the Tigers just looking a little iffy here in just this last minute or two. Prestia. Plenty of the footy. Ten touches for him so far. Dusty Martin. Also 10 and Hooley. So three Rory of their Sloan main midfielders. Hell. Rory Sloan. Sloan with the free. No, no advantage. No advantage. Back here, please. Hold. Sloan at half play back. On, play on. He's had his 11th touch, Rory Sloan. And here's another one to go with that. So he's in great touch, but that one just stays in the field of play. No, he's been terrific. Jenkins and Walker, slow start for the big forwards for Adelaide. They're yeah, both struggling. Yeah, they are. Not this guy. <laughs> He's built for grand finals, that bloke. Jacobs comfortably against Grigg, but it's snared by Prestia to Edwards. In a hurry, Edwards banging forward. Revolt, Townsend, he'll probably try and get a stoppage here. He squeezes it okay. Back to Hardigan, who's been good. Back to Sloan. Back to Lever. Lever measures the kick. Cameron the target. Ellis went early. Jenkins a little fumble. Not easy. Asprey, who's also been a little nervy so far today. Crouch held on to. Doesn't get the free. Puts a good tackle on. And gets a stoppage. He was lucky, Broad. The umpire was thinking about it. Brad Crouch is another one who hasn't quite been able to fight his way into this game yet. Only the four touches... For the Star Crows midfielder. Oh, Jacobs, another beautiful knockdown. Edwards, though, rips it away from half back. Prestia, full of running. Richmond's leading possession getter. Here's the first bit of space for the Brownlow medalist. A couple of bounces. He'll line it up. No, he won't. Unselfishly to Lambert. That is brilliant controlled footy. Lambert plays on. Kick around the corner to Hooley. Not sure what happened there. the play on. Hold it. Lambert got a step off the mark there and fair enough. Gee, what about Martin? Yeah, absolutely brilliant, wasn't it? Full pace, left foot across the body. Adelaide by nine points. Jacobs uncontested. Crouch couldn't quite. Edwards getting a bit off it. Clever. Caddy gets a lot of that to the goal square. Revolt and Talia. And, Mackie, you'll see also when uh, Grigg goes into the ruck, what the Tigers do is they push another midfielder up at ground level, and it's been to their advantage, even though Jacobs has won the last couple of 
uncontested stoppages at ground level, Richmond have been able to move the ball. Are you right, Tim? Even at that last stoppage, Richmond had three players by themselves just on the defensive hip of the Ruckman there. They are outnumbering when the ball hits the deck. So can the Tigers keep it inside? No, they won't if Charlie gets hold of it. Little kick. The umpire said he kicked the ball. Ashbury ducked under it, so he was never going to get the free as a result. Now Lambert's got to keep it alive. Takes Jenkins on. Got good ground here. Can't possibly be deliberate. Trying to keep it in play and trying to keep it working is the coaches. And both of these guys certainly know how to play in a premiership. Coaching's another thing. Half forward for the Tigers. Jacobs again dominating with the hit outs. Matt Crouch. Little ball wide here. Jenkins and Rance. Good arm wrestle at the moment, isn't it? Not much scoring being done. Little shifts of momentum, but no damage on the board. Richmond with the only goal of the second term so far. Jacobs again. Slow and good. Little toe poke, though. McIntosh doesn't sit. It does. Neat kick. Hooley. Clever. The angle just taken off him, though. So he comes on the right foot. Dangerous kick here. Important. Atkins, the Laird had the head of steam up, and he's able to get away from Prestia. That's a good win to Lynch. And then Lynch, that smothered by Broad. Back to Hawley. Can he release? He does to Rioli. Rioli to Martin. Martin goes in board again to McIntosh. McIntosh with the left foot. Does it get to the back for Revo? Castagna to make the contest. Running towards the line. And Richmond get it. Poor kick by McIntosh. It wasn't was. to the advantage of Rewalt, was it? But a good little win before that. That's the difference between the two teams right now. Just those entries inside forward 50. Tigers have got it deep in their 50. Adelaide looking to clear along the ground. Alice gathers. High ball. Kelly will stay in the field. So good fortune there for the Tigers. Jake Kelly has been a revelation this year for the Adelaide Crows. Adelaide defenders, just got to be careful here. There's a lot of space getting opened up at this boundary throw-in. What a shot. 100,000 packed into the G. Brad Crouch looking for the brother. And what a tackle from Townsend. A real aggressive one that started a barney here. It's been thrown in. It was real from Townsend. Bang! And tried to drive him into the fence almost as well. And his brother didn't like it, did he? He was in there in a hurry. So Richmond forward 50, bubbling forward. McKay gets across. Cochin couldn't quite get the spoil. Lynch bravely. Cameron... Jacobs takes the advantage. Otten versus Rance, and Rance not paid to Grimes, but he won the ball importantly. Grimes' kick should be effective. McIntosh sets it up for Edwards. Edwards' is handball okay. Vloston looking, looking, unsure. Then he goes with a high kick to about a 50-50 contest, not even that in the end. Holding, Richmond! Free kick to the Tigers. Holding, Richmond kick. Turns it. Free kick this is. See it on replay. Just grabbed the jumper. Would have seen the big sail. Jake Lever it was. Look at his left hand. Big handful of it. That might not look like much, but that's what the umpire looks for. Exactly that. Well, Townsend made a mess of his one after at quarter time. He's hardly touched it today, but he is 8-1 from set shots prior to today. So... He's been the biggest surprise packet of this AFL season. His last four matches, they've won them all. He had the six and the five. Where'd he come from? How did he do it? Well, can he kick a goal in the grand final? Yes, he can. Says a lot about him. He's got the temperament. He might be the most skillful bloke out there. That was a very, very good response, mate. Well, that's backed up. You see the, the tackle he laid just a minute ago, Lingy. You do all that type of stuff, then the, the goals come after it. Hard work. Rance's ability to win these balls at half back, too. <laughs> the 
Well, he gets some reward after laying a tackle just a minute ago. Gets the goal. Here we go. So the Tigers with both goals in this second quarter. Adelaide by two points. Jenkins into the ruck. He's been ordinary so far. Just the one touch for him. Greenwood, Hooley. Tex Walker standing the mark. Has had a quiet start as well. Just the two disposals for him. Hooley told to go by the umpire. He lecks the southern wing. High footy. Lever setting himself here. Hardigan got a backhander there as well. Trying to keep it rolling forward. Now Lever. The fend-off. Flattens pressed here. But no look handle to Crouch. On to Brad Crouch now. The deliberate underground ball. Jenkins has bundled out of the way there by Townsend. And he gets the free here. Big Josh Jenkins. Goes wide. To Laird. Laird with that short kick. Lever. So Richmond have edged back to two points. The only two goals of the term. Lever to about 60 metres. Cameron, the big fly. Nankervis, Walker's handball to space. Rance read it well. Betts gets him. Got him. What does he do from here, the magician? Play on. He plays it on and gives it to the captain and kicks to the top of the... Well, not quite the top of the goal square. Broad has to get the handball away. Doesn't quite release it. And the ball close to the boundary line. Jenkins taken down by not one but two. And we get a stoppage. Well, Rance is hard to get down. Betts' tackle was superb. Boy, they put the handcuffs on Jenkins then. Hunt rode in. Richmond cheer squad in the foreground. Nan Curvis on the end of it, Atkins. Quick ping, cross the face. And out of bounds on the full. Adelaide by two points. Three metres. Keep going, Hulk. Going to get the odd little bit of rain from time to time today, but nothing too intense that's going to make a difference in this game. Floston. High footy. Walker was there, Otten in front, couldn't hold on. McIntosh and Sloan, Sloan wins out there, drags it in, may well be penalised here. Umpire circling, play on they call, eventually it came out. Walker, Martin just dusts them off. He even gave a bit of a stiff arm to no one that was there. Now Martin around the corner, good looking ball, off hands led. McKay, and a high ball, Adelaide free it up back. There's a reason we rave about Dusty Martin. Just the fact you can get out of congestion and create things. That's a clear free kick there. No worries about that. But the ability for a player like that to turn congestion into breakaway opening up of the game is so rare and so valuable. Otten to Lynch to Sloan. So Sloan to bring it inside the forward 50. He does that. Walk of the target. And then Curvis getting back. Richmond's kick, don't lose it. And Macker, in the time that Nankervis was off the ground, it was five inside 50s to Richmond to none to Adelaide. So that's something that Damien Hardwick might just put away for a little bit later too because they seem to have a real advantage at ground level. Interesting stuff, Tim. So Nankervis, good mark. Townsend's having a very good second quarter. Gets it to Hurley. He's having a very good match as Hurley. He's kicked to about 50. Castagna and McKay. McKay almost. Castagna kept it in and then asks a bit of revolt. Taken over the line by Talia. Kane Lambert, so valuable for Richmond on our Telstra tracker. You can see the work that he does off the footy. He's had 11 touches, covered nearly seven kilometres. And we've still got five minutes to go in this first half. Such a workhorse for the Richmond Footy Club. Gee, it's tight, Bruce. It's real tight at the moment. Very tight. The Tigers with both goals in this second quarter. Play on. Play on. They're 50 again. Crouch. This is Brad. Laird, who's had a really good game. Douglas has taken over the line heavily by the skipper in Cotton. The other one there, Lingy, was broad, who covers a lot of ground. That was why he was probably chosen for the Lynch matchup. He covers the ground, he's got really good speed broad, so it's not a bad matchup for Lynch, who's one of the best runners at half forward in the comp. Indeed it is, Richo, thank you. Throw in, Nan Curvis and Jenkins. Nan Curvis wins out. 
Trying to get through there was Graham. He was stopped very, very promptly indeed. Ball bouncing around here. Tigers Martin in there, and McKay says the boundary line's good for me. Look dangerous, Richmond, at the minute, don't they? Yep. Just slightly on top, I reckon. Some real aggression in there. Yep. Got the vigor, haven't they? Yep. And looking dangerous at stoppages with their clearances. Managing to find a free player. Kickstart their game. So Nankervis out. Block! You can't run into the contest. Adelaide. So Jenkins gets the free. He gives it up to Crouch. So Matt Crouch with the left foot close to the line. Hurley got there first. Didn't quite hang on long enough. And again, a stoppage. We've had a lot of these, haven't we? And they are giving themselves multiple opportunities, the Tigers, by trapping it in their half of the ground. They just uh, haven't been able to uh, uh, get a lot of effect on the scoreboard as a result of that. But it's there, isn't it? No, I agree. Uh, it's, it's their entries inside 50. Just have to have a little bit more composure, lower your eyes. We saw Dusty Martin do it. Now, Curvis getting a bit more of the footy while Jacobs has been resting as well on the bench. Against Jenkins, he has been Nan Curvis in this last five minutes. When the time that they went in and hit a target, Townsend played on. We just had a look at the Telstra tracker for the game so far. This is this quarter. Look at those small forwards for Richmond. Edwards, Castagna, Lambert's more midfield, but Townsend as well. Huge case in this quarter. Rory Laird, the one who's got to chase most of them around. That's just a big case. Castagna, two touches. Butler, two touches. Richmond into attack again. Talia didn't make contact with the footy. Grand level ball, Hardigan. Long the ground. Here they come again, the Tigers. Quick flick handball. Cotchin back inside. Here's an opportunity for Graham. Graham just goes bang. Look at this. The Tigers are in front. So the Tigers have all three goals in the second quarter. Graham with a huge goal, and the Tigers get some reward. Richmond by four. Superb finish by a young player, Jack Graham. Just swooped on that footy, lifted his teammates. It's been a theme of their finals. When it's scrappy, when it's congested, Richmond have still been able to find a way to kick those crucial goals. They hit the front, and think about it, Lingy. Townsend and Graham, eh? The two guys that have only played the last five. He's got it. The champ's got it. The one-on-one -on -one that they want to create, and they got it with a quick takeaway. Yeah, look at the fans out of their seats. Centre clearance. And then Dusty... Wanted body contact early, then just protected the space. It was interesting they went with Brown as the matchup back there, the Crows. But it was play. Hardigan in the first quarter. It was Hardigan, exactly the bigger, stronger defender. They opted for Brown, and Dusty knew that. And you're right, wanted the body straight away. He's had a very good first half. This will top it off. He's got it. They've kicked away. Christie winning that clearance. He's been superb again today. And suddenly now, the Martin one-on-one -on -one forward 50 factor becomes a big issue, doesn't it? Let's have a look and see if they're going to make a change. Doesn't look like they are. It looks like it. they're try trying to get Hardigan on the ground. He was caught on the bench. It's a big win for the Tigers, isn't it? This place has been ripped into a frenzy. Tigers four in a row. Martin dynamic. And by the way, not far away. Wait until you see what's happening at Punt Road. There it is. Look at that. Thousands of Tiger fans couldn't get into the G. Over 100,000 in. Did you see them jump out of their seats when Dusty marked that? Never seen anything like it. Here's Walker. Asprey there with him. Boundary line wins. Tigers by 10 and they've kicked four in a row. We just spoke about that dusty matchup, how Brown got caught on him. It was because Kyle Hardigan was caught on the bench. Those scenes, all of those people would have gone up when Dusty marked that one. Great atmosphere here at the G and at Punt Road, but now they've fixed it back up. Hardigan's back onto Dusty. 
in the forward line. Crouch, just toe poking forward. Vlosten, Knight got him for a while. Vlosten got the handball away. Hey, Bruce, uh, Jake Kelly has come from the ground. He's got an issue, we believe, with his left hamstring. They've done the hamstring test. Now they're going to tape it up. So he might have a, have a little niggle there, Jake Kelly. They're all important. That's the balance for that defence. The right size for lots of matchups. So keep an eye on that, Richo. Lynch, little gift to Jacobs. Great smother coming from Lambert. Ball not quite out. Tigers hang on and keep it there. Gee, they've had a big quarter. Thank you. No, no. We went into Four him. goals to nothing in the second turn. Revolt and Martin, the bookends. Townsend and Graham in the middle. Two guys we'd hardly heard of a month ago. Prestia's little kick didn't go far. Rioli had bubbled away. Brad Crouch couldn't quite. McIntosh good tackle coming from Brown. Working hard to Crouch, to Crouch, to Jacobs. Off a step, Jacobs. Bubbling ball, Asprey. Otten took him out fairly. And then Rance wants the boundary line. And he gets it. Nicely done by Rance. He's a tall customer. So can Adelaide hang on to the footy in there? Forward end for the remaining two minutes of the half. Jacobs is back out there and in the ruck. Here's Graham, the goal kicker. Just kicked it as far as he could away from the defensive goal. Good contest in the middle. Rory Laird spins. Lays a lot of boot on this. Very high. In they come. Over the top. Townsend couldn't get there. Betch was held. Betch was held. Betch was held. Should have got the free. Broad. Left foot kick. Clearing ball. May well be out of bounds. It is just. Gee, I thought there was a hold on the arm there. and That should have been paid, I reckon. It's a big call, isn't it? A big no call. Such a skillful defender, Grimes, isn't he? And Pitts, well, he's a genius. He's a magician. So no free, no goal for Adelaide. They've got a couple of forwards that need to do something in the next minute and a half to feel good about themselves. Betts not one of those. He's been OK. Douglas got it back. And Graham and also Caddy get a winner half back yep. for Richmond. See, that, again, has been a highlight of Richmond. Their pressure, scrapping, smothers, just getting a hand in, creating that pressure has been huge. And then Curvis early, Douglas toe pokes, Lynch's hands were good, Matt Crouch right side for him, gets it to 20 metres from home, roving at his night, couldn't quite, Betts couldn't quite, lost and did well. Richmond hold up. Guess who? Rance again. Yep. Just his desperation. Always manages just to get a fist in at the right time. Very close to being best on first half, isn't he? And just to pump up how big this quarter's been for Richmond, second quarters are Adelaide's best quarters, plus 290 points throughout the season. It's Richmond's worst quarter, 10th. Well, they've reversed that in the grand final when it mattered most. And when you consider, Duck, that Rance has only had six possessions, his effect on the game is enormous. Oh, no doubt about that. A little flick here, couldn't keep it. You don't judge him on possessions at all. Yep. Just the little thing. And, gee, Adelaide player Brown just limping off into the interchange area there as well. He looked very uncomfortable in the hands of the doctor as we speak. Kelly's so, back out there. Sorry, BT. Kelly is back out there. Yep. Jacobs in front. Did well. Although Cochin getting on the end of it here. High foot. He got a go. And he does. Seedsman. Quick handball on. Here's Rory Laird. Giving them plenty of runs from Nicky from that. Bang. McKay. Back to Laird. He's run down. Eddie. What about the pick? And the runaway with it goes out wide to Cameron. Cameron chased by Rance. Got the little kick to Riley Knight. Couldn't hold on. Desperation, Tiger defence. Vlosten. He's lifted Vlosten. He had the, the shaky start, hasn't he? They've all collectively lift, lifted. Gee, Laird continues to play magnificently. There's the injury. Brown. Yep. So Adelaide with a few little niggling concerns here, not only on the scoreboard, but their forward 50 here. A late goal would mean a big difference. Grig, Prestia turning, getting it far enough. Lambert tapping it. Cameron, Cameron gets a bit on it, but I think it'll be out of bounds. It is, and Richmond. Richmond will get the kick. That much hyped up again. Adelaide forward line just is not firing. Jenkins, Walker just can't have any influence. 
So Broad has done very well. He gets it as far as he can in the dying seconds of the opening half. Back to Brad Crouch. He rode the tackle. Gets a handball, half a handball away. Ellis did well. Grigg wants the line. He gets it. Is it a free kick? It's been tackled. Spun around. It's been tackled as his handball. Big first half for Martin. The goal, the crowning moment in his opening half. Tigers to lead at halftime after trading at quarter time. It's been a big turnaround. Nankervis belting forward only as far as Talia. And that's just about oh, going to be it. It's perfectly Brown, yeah. poised. Not for Brown, maybe, but Richmond Lee. So the Tigers lead by nine points in what's been an enthralling opening half of the 2017 Grand Final. It really is set up for the perfect second half. The underdog, the slight underdog, has its nose in front, and we're about to go. Weather's cleared a bit as well. Fans are into it in a very big way. Jacobs and Nankervis. Nankervis this time over the head of Cochin. Douglas, just as he was about to kick, and this is something good for the Tigers. Graham to Ellis. Ellis goes wide, and that's a very, very good mark taken by Lambert under extreme pressure. So the Tigers, if you've just joined us, four goals in a row in the second quarter. They are feeling it here at the moment. Rewalt launches, almost identical to his first quarter, big hanger. Great grab from Rewalt. A little right foot kick to a dangerous zone. Martin and Sloan was there. Sloan got a punch away, crouched the fumble. Strong contact from Townsend. Gee, Hooley got taken forward and was searching for the free. And exactly. have a look at Jack Rewalt here. Exactly the way you want to come out after half time. Your lead is Jack Rewalt launching at the footy, marking it. And a tackle from Trent Cochin back at that centre bounce. Created the turnover. Brilliant. And there's Cochin there. That one just got away from him, Prestia, to Rioli. Right, Lee, their endeavour in the tackle has been at a really high level, led by that man there, Trent Cochin. Well, Adelaide backs to the wall on the scoreboard and literally on the ground at the moment. The first 10 minutes vital for their survival in this grand final. Jacobs tries to lay it down. Martin, every time he goes near it, the crowd roar. He's gone near it again. He fended off. He didn't keep control. Hurley wrong side for him. Crouch did OK. Martin again with help from Revolt and a boundary throw in. Richmond have got their foot on Adelaide's throat. There's a long way to go, but they have got their foot on the throat of a crow. And he had a big first half, Martin, but he just feels threatening at the moment, like he wants to rip this game out of the hands of the Crows. And that's without their three smalls playing well. Rioli, Castagna and Butler. Only nine touches be between the three of them. That won't get there. There is Butler. So nine touches between those three smalls. Lambert there with the kick. Hasn't quite got it done, so there's a lot of room for improvement there. I think their pressure side has been good. But they've got a score as well. Jacobs, double-handed fist. Graham there looking for the free, and he may have milked it. High tackle. Gee. Let it go. That was interesting. Let's have a look at this. Yep. Good call. It was there, wasn't it? Yep. yep. Move away. That was called by the umpire out of the area. Now, this is a massive goal. The Tigers have just come off four in a row. They're feeling as you say, Lingy. And if this one sails through, gee, Graham has won in the game. It was a big goal, and this is even bigger. 30 out, a little bit of angle. So Graham has kicked a huge goal at the opening couple of minutes here of the third quarter. And Richmond by 15 points. He kicks his second. And that has ignited the Richmond fans.
go to half time and you've got all that momentum, but then you've just got to sit down and think and hope and you can't let yourself get too excited. The best way to settle all that back down again is to start the third quarter exactly the way the Tigers have done it. Cochin in the middle, Rewalt with a big mark and Graham with a crucial goal. Biggest margin of the match for either team. Douglas out of the centre. Rant's being held on to. Well, BT talked about the small forwards for Richmond not hitting the board. A couple of big forwards for Adelaide that need to hit the board in the second half. Yep, haven't fired a shot yet. Tex Walker, Josh Jenkins. Andy Otten. Andy Otten as well. Caddy came across. Good mark. What about Graham? He's the only teenager out there. He's the boy from Tea Tree Gully in the northern suburbs of Adelaide. Kicked a couple. Remarkable story. Martin. The hips are so strong, we know that. This is where Rioli was dangerous in the prelim final. Working with McKay. The ball bubbling around and now a boundary throwing. Well, we talked about the first 10 minutes of this quarter being crucial for Adelaide. They're right in the middle of that 10-minute period. They cannot concede another here. Clearances are just starting to creep up for Richmond. Plus five. That's where they're getting so much of their drive. Fans starting to lift in voice here. No Ruckman making contact. Boundary throw in falling short again. Lambert knocks it on to Martin. Here he is. Got it. The fend off. The tackle avoid. The handball to Grigg. Exceptional stuff. The Tigers are alight. The Tigers are on fire. No. Mark paid to Lever. Must have just got it on the line. High ball, Walker had to come late. Tigers here threatening. Edwards a little hook kick. Found Lambert, probably hasn't got the wheels from there. Lambert 55 metres out, looks behind for an overlap 50 kicker. And no one there. Now Flosten is. He'll wind up too far out. Sloan came at him. 60 metre kick, high ball to the square. Punch away by Talia and Lever effective. Well, if Adelaide win this match, they're going to win it now. They're going to win it now. Here's the mark. They're going to win it by holding Richmond in the next five minutes and then bursting off that. Because they're on the ropes. We know that. Brown to himself. They can't get the ball forward of 50 in this quarter. Jenkins, good mark. Has to do more of it. What about Martin a moment ago? Ducking heavy traffic. Martin, the handball. He's done it all you, Bruce. Absolutely brilliant. Jenkins coughs it up. Hurley having a game and a half. And then Hurley with a measured kick to Rioli. Leg got over the back. Brown going back. Had a little injury problem with Kelly before half-time. They've made Adelaide go down the line so often today. And then when they have been brave, Adelaide gone through the corridor. They've turned it over. So all of a sudden, they've lost that ability to go through the corridor and change the angles like we spoke about before the game. Yeah, I heard you talking about that, Duck. We haven't got any good examples of that nope, happening at all for the all. Crows. Credit to Richmond. They've done their homework and they've executed perfectly. Jacobs and Nankervis again. Kelly to Cameron. Hasn't been able to find the time and space today. Walker here in the contest. Gee, that's a good mark in front by Flossman. Played very well. Had a jittery moment or two early. Other than that, he's been very, very good. Short ball here to Edwards. Loves playing in the corridor, Edwards. Just a little too far for him to score. Rewald on the lead. Here he comes. Strong hands needed. Talia did nicely without uh, giving away the free there. Little handball by McKay. Kelly's handball is picked off by Prestia. Got it back inside here. Lambert sponged it out. Edwards with a bit of space and time. Finds Grigg. That's the lowering of the eyes. That's the one they weren't great in in the first half. Now starting to find some targets. And all of a sudden, these smaller forwards... Starting to find plenty of room inside forward 50. They're all over them, aren't they? They are dominating right now. Richmond started this third quarter. Biggest lead of the game on offer. Six Richmond goals in a row if successful. Grigg to the famous punt road end. Riding it with him. He's got it. Look at him jump out of their seats in the background. The Tigers have kicked six in a row. Concerned, always got an answer, but within that cool composure, he would be wondering what he can do to get his mob fired up. Well, this is as big as it gets now. Look at this centre clearance for the Adelaide Crows. Douglas, Crouch, Sloan, all in the middle. The 
Crows are on their knees, 22 points down. He comes to the leaders. They're great players. They've got to stand up in this moment now. There's no point waiting. No point waiting for somebody else to do it. Sloan, Walker, Betts, Jacobs. They've all got to take this game back or it's gone. Douglas fell over. 42 minutes league. He says a goal for him. 42 no, minutes and Scream will kick that goal. And they left four goals to two. Talking about the best attacking team all year have the Crows. And they don't even feel threatening at the moment. No. Jakers and Nankurva. Seedsman beaten for Cochin winning it to Lambert. Lambert kicking to about 35 metres out. Talia did okay. Butler can get dangerous. Good hands. Terrific tackle on Townsend from Hardigan. Butler got it though. Gets a kick away to about 25 metres from goal. Revolt launched himself. Grig over the top. Lambert. Oh yes. 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 You know what? It's not quite Tiger time, but it's starting to feel like it's Tiger time. They're going to take some beating now. Well, Adelaide have got to stand up here. It is all Richmond right now. Work rate from their smaller forwards midfielders. Kane Lambert, reward for huge Ks covered. Nearly 10 Ks. He has worked so hard to get on the end of the footy today. The Tigers are terrorising the MCG right now. Adelaide fans extremely nervous. 28 is not enough. But that's where it's at right now. And the Tiger fans, look at them. Out of their seats. They're jumping. They're about to explode. They are loving what they're seeing here today. Grigg has been in amongst that. Three goals already in ten minutes of footy in the third quarter. Douglas with a high ball. They're all one-on-ones back there. Eddie Betts gathers, thought about the barrel, went inside. A big goal needed from Eddie, and he misses. To the right-hand side. Not sure what Eddie was doing there. Not sure he was having a shot. It looked like he was just trying to kick the ball to space rather than have a deliberate shot at goal. Well, they needed a duck. Contested possession this quarter, 19 to 10. First use, using it effectively, and then creating pressure. And they've got him rattled. That's why Eddie didn't know what to do. Just rattled. Griggs, big fly. So, Jacobs... How can he use it here? Very short. It's okay. McKay on the burst. Not going to come back, is it? And it'll be a behind. I reckon he played on then because he thought it wasn't far enough and the umpire wasn't going to play the whistle. And maybe Duck thinking he might be too far out and they could pinch yeah. a metre or two. So Adelaide with a couple of behinds. That's not going to get the job done, though. No, but they have holding the ball in their half of the ground here for a moment or two. Martin elevates. Riley Knight. Did well, but ran into the Hooley wall. And Lambert, who's been impressive again. Look at Hooley. How hard did he go there? Martin runs away from him. Needs someone to go with him. He found the fastest man on the ground. Rioli, little spearing ball. He did rewalt. 60 metres out, rewalt. Butler, look at the Tiger players at the back of the pack here. Rewalt has sensed that. Up they fly in the air. Couldn't quite get there. Gee, it was close for Townsend. And now Crouch. Gets himself in a bit of a spin. Laird, still under the pump. They get it to Talia. Talia has to just kick as far as he can. Sloan's at the back. Couldn't take the mark. Atkins was good early, but he's been very quiet. Broad just turned around beautifully. Cotchin, the two captains close together, but a different tail for both of them. Asprey off a step. Beautiful kick wide. They're expansive, Richmond. Prestia. Butler, Ilarchi's back. Butler measuring. Kicks to centre half forward. Townsend's in a reasonable spot. And for the second time, Jacobs does something very important in the back half for Adelaide. There he is good. And this kick's risky, but found the intended Douglas target and 50 to go with it. Rocked him on the head, so by Meredith. And a little late. Well, Nan Nankervis is off the ground again at the moment, so that matchup is Grigg and Jacobs, and Grigg is trying to run him from one end of the ground to the other. Douglas, short ball to the lead of Altman. 
Otten turns, wheels and goes, and here comes Walker. So finally, Tex gets hold of it in a really good Tex Walker position. Yeah, this is a massive kick. They, he has to kick this goal. His last shot at goal, VT, he was about 35, 40 out, didn't actually make the distance. We know that he's a beautiful kick under normal circumstances, but the pressure right now on the captain. Massive, massive, massive kick. The skipper of Adelaide to keep them in it. Look at that. Arrow straight. So Walker gets Adelaide's fifth. Can that be the spark? And it could possibly be back to 20 points. And the good thing about it, I'm not, I mean, it's the biggest kick of the year in a way, but Otten lowered the eyes, are prepared to spot somebody up forward 50. Now, they're five goals behind. He could have blazed. Jacob's enormous. And fantastic. Twice done. Yep. Down back. Biggest Says, kick of his career, and he knows it. That might just be the spark they needed. Back to 20 points. Sheeds eight. Hurdy. <laughs> He'll give the Norm Smith medal today. He won it in 2000. Koch and searching. Well done. Castagna. Bounced off Crouch. Knight. Are Adelaide making a move? No. Broad got involved with Greenwood. Gee, that is a win to Caddy. And then Caddy's got a fairly open forward line. Martin's running forward. 50. He wants the one-on-one, -on -one, Dusty. He's not going to go to him. It was a bit wide. Caddy decides to go wide. To, interesting to Nankervis. And then Nankervis with a little careful one to... Graham, and Graham has kicked two goals and it's been a revelation. He's the only teenager out there today. We know he's got the composure. Not sure exactly if he's got the length from here, but he's certainly got the temperament. He's nailed those other two goals. What a fifth game of footy it's been. Well, <laughs> nobody this century has uh, won a grand final with less than 10 games and been unbeaten. So he's having an incredible run in this final series. Can you believe he's kicked three goals in the grand final? Jack Graham, that is. Well, a lot of strange goal kickers in grand finals. You know, Shane Ellen's one of the most famous. Ones. Paul Abbott kicks it. Um, this is this is one of them. Yeah. This is one of them. Gee, they're going to be hard to beat. Adelaide can't stop them scoring now. Good kick, got right through it. He's third. Tigers back out to 26. Crowd bubbling here at the G. Matt Crouch. High contact here on Douglas. Not you, the other one. Back here, play on. Dishes off and Brown gets it as deep as he possibly can. Rants again with the spoil. McIntosh has to crash through a couple. Now he's taken them on. Now he really is in trouble. Looked like he was swinging uppercuts then, but of course he was just trying to get rid of the footy. Good pressure from Lever, uh, right from Betts, I should say, and Cameron. Can they turn it into something? Tap at the back by Jenkins. Ellis Hooley, well done. He belts it away. Martin, front spot. Holds it, not quite. Hardigan with him. That's a better matchup for the Crows. Butler, well, Lambert's taken off here. Butler, does he get through? He doesn't. He took a chance. He had to release the footy, I reckon. Douglas held up. Martin fending off, fending off. Gets the kick away. Oh. Effectively oh, to Revolt. Yeah. Revolt to set a half forward. Bubbling ball. Bubbling ball. Caddy keeps his call, goes back to Ellis. They can reset here. They've got runners forward 50 now. Ellis just takes a deep breath and now to unload it. Play on. Just goes short. Rioli presents up. They are very patient at the right times, aren't they? The Tigers. Daniel Rioli, no chance of the distance here. Play on. Just will wait for something to happen. Decides to go long. Didn't quite get it to the top of the square. Hardigan. Almost a juggling mark. Pressed here, tackled. Spills Castagna. Interception Jenkins. Rebound Edwards. High ball won't get there. Kelly's sitting under this. And Lever makes sure it goes over the boundary. 
One of the most impressive things with Richmond today is even the times where they look like they've coughed it up in the middle of the ground and made a big mistake and Adelaide were going to be able to score on turnover. They've got it back again. They've had support, haven't they? Yeah, they've all come in. They've had numbers around the footy and created another turnover. Jenkins has laid it to Greenwood, who got laid. And then Greenwood's, well done, Edwards, to Townsend. Pressed here in the pocket. Nope, it's a behind. What a final series for Prestia. He and Caddy have become, and Nankervis, the three they brought in have been vital for the whole season, haven't they? And they've stood up in all the big matches, certainly in the back half of the season. Oh, Kelly Short. Brad Crouch. 49, 49. Again, held up. It's the theme of the day. Richmond have done it perfectly. Long down the line. It's not what the Crows want to do. No, they're normally that little switch kick, change the angles from half back, haven't been able to do it today. Rance kick wide. So why is that, boys? Why duck have they... Oh, oh, Richmond have set up beautifully, made sure they've had numbers through the middle of the ground. They haven't allowed them that release kick, so they've had to go down the line. Former 300 gamer, Wayne Campbell there. Best and fairest, Jack Dyer, medalist of the club. Hardigan, now with GWS, of course. Douglas, the boy from Broadford here in Victoria. And now Richmond pushing across, and they've been able to That's stop it again. And that's the kick they've forced here, and guess what? Richmond have cut it off again. Grigg, back here to Martin, going to have to be a good spoil. Somehow Martin's juggled it, thought about putting it on the boot, gave it off to Castagna, right foot snap, got it. Goodness gracious me, the Tigers have got another. Gee, look at Punt Road. <laughs> it's gone berserk. Absolutely berserk at Punt Road. How did Dusty Martin end up with that for uh. <laughs> Not sure there's any stopping them now. Have a look at this. Punt Road adjacent to the MCG. Look at that old historic stand. It'll be shaking. And now the biggest Tiger fan of them all, Mick Malloy, inside the stadium. And what about Dimmer? 33 points. Martin and Castagna there. Sloan can't get away from Graham. Crouch is a little handball. Jacobs, Cochin ripped it off him. Rioli off the ground. Talia, Rioli off the ground again. Ball getting to the back. Lambert outnumbered. Doesn't matter at the moment if they're outnumbered. They've got all the force with them, the Tigers. And they get, no, they don't get the stoppage. Brown, Knight, quick kick from McKay. Off a step. Walker can't make the contest in his favour. Hurley's a beautiful kick. He's got options. He's going to go with a long ball to full forward. Castagna nearly, nearly led in trouble, I reckon. Oh, yeah. Lucky, lucky, Enjoy. lucky. How good was, how good was the captain the again well, there well, at that centre clearance, Lingy? He just willed it forward, tackled, pushed the ball forward, tackled Enjoy. again. Enjoy. Had the opportunity to handball there, Rory Laird. He decided not to. Absorbed the bump instead. Very lucky to get away with that broad off hands. Here's Lever bustling his way through. Otten and Rance. And a free against Rance here, I think. Uh, gets, the oh, gets no. Otten, oh. And it's just panic now. They are so worried about Alex Rance intercepting and rebounding that Otten's just giving away free kicks through sheer panic. There it is. Twice this quarter. Yep. Great shots by our cameras. Rance down the line. High ball. Nankervis there. Hardigan as well. Nankervis ended up with a little ball around the corner. Hawley. Long and deep. Tigers again. Penetrating. Look at them run. Here they come. The Mosquito Fleet. Rioli's there. Lambert's there. They're all there. They attack. They maul. They stop. And they try and score here. Sloan has to dive on it. Townsend on top of him as well. And the numbers at that contest then. Richmond had three, four more players there. Adelaide players were all left 30, 40 metres behind the ball. That Richmond forward pack are on the hunt. Jacobs did well. Good smother, though, by Lambert. Cochin, that's that will that Duck and Lingy were talking about. Caddy uh, out on the full. Hey, Tim, I just want you to check Richo's pulse for me. How's he going down there? <laughs> He's white at the moment. We're on Richo, but uh, they're right on top here. And you mentioned Graham's goals, but 
Damien Hardwick also has enough faith in him to actually play him on Rory Sloan. I mean, that's amazing for a kid playing his fifth game. Crouch. Both of them combining. High footy Rance, Otten, Floston. Good handball. Brandon Ellis. The boy out of the corner, Cannon's footy factory, left foot back inside, half volley, Castagna, Martin, run down by Crouch, Matt Crouch, goal saving tackle, you feel. Jim Martin's take there was sublime, but Crouch did something that's almost impossible, isn't it? To get a free kick holding the ball against him. Seedsman, long kick, Otten and Walker, Otten from the side, down in there, Curvis, Rance again to Ellis, to Grimes, comes in. Heard the call. Vloston protected the ball well and gets a stoppage. That Adelaide forward line has just been towed up today, Duck. Yeah. The Richmond defence, brilliant. How good was Nan Curvis there? Yeah. Summed it up beautifully. He might be 6'6", six, 6'7", six, six, but he can play front and square as well. Doing the ruck work here, Duck. Bubbled away from uh, Knight. He did OK. McKay, he sort of measures the kick. Otten in a contest here. Grimes front spot. Vloston. Otten did pretty well there to win almost the 50-50. Grimes, Sloan. Ball getting out. Well, Prestia gets it back off McIntosh. Back to McIntosh. Back to Prestia. Prestia handballs to space. Adelaide have to stay firm. Laird has it ripped away. The Tigers are off again. They are indeed. Castagna, a bounce. A dash through the middle. A little low ball here. Miss Townsend on that opportunity. Lever went without it. Richmond applying enormous pressure. Butler keeps it rolling forward. Here we go again. Gee, look at the Adelaide Crows. They are under enormous pressure. Martin has got a free. They panicked again. And Dusty Martin's got a chance to send the MCG into an absolute tiger frenzy. What happened is the tackle just lingered too long. He ended up dumping him to ground. So the ball came out straight away. Then you just continued on with it. Like, Whoa. No, no, it's come out in the Play on! He plays on round the corner, Benton, too much. But that's the word, isn't it, BT? Panic. In yep. the presence of Dusty Martin, Alex Rance down the other end of the ground, Adelaide players are panicking. They've been so organised all year, Adelaide. It's been one of their strengths. So organised all year. They look completely rattled, don't they? They look a shadow of the team they've been all year, though, Bruce. And Richmond have forced that. But there are players out there for the Crows who their heads would be doing themselves in right now. They would be struggling mentally, feeling the whole world closing in on them. Atkins, well, that's a terrible handball by McKay. And Rioli's going to win a free kick. That's why they're rattled. Because of that pressure, the Tiger pressure, which we've spoken about all Daniel. year. It was the only thing that, I mean, skill can fall down in grand finals, can't it? But pressure is always there, isn't it? Yep. And maybe Atkins shouldn't have called for it as well, but it was just a never going to go anywhere, that one. He kicked a goal from here, didn't he? And the prelim, he gives it off to Hooley. Now, Hooley's got the length. Can he go home and just absolutely hammer this one? And almost, almost put Adelaide out of the game. He has the skill. He's a beautiful kick. If he was on the run here, you'd just back him, wouldn't you? Let's see. He's played a wonderful game. It's not quite going to do what he wanted it to do. But Richmond get another point a little further in front. Lever. Now, this is what they normally do. Short kick, change of direction, but normally there's not so much pressure on the guy that's marked the footy. Here's Hardigan. Back to Matt Crouch. Better build up here. Kelly. He was jittery as well. Goes down the line here. High footy. Sloan trying to elevate over the top. Otten there as well. Got it on to Sloan. McIntosh did well with the interception there. Now he's got to get rid of it. Can't afford to suck it back in. Greenwood didn't know where to go. Panicked out the back door. Graham took it away. High ball. Talia's under this. Tried to take the chest mark in the end. Probably should have taken it to the hands. Butler. This mosquito fleet again. Little handball there. Missed on that opportunity by Castagna. Crouch round the corner. And McIntosh is going to mark again. All the answers at the moment, Richmond. And then McIntoshins to Cochin. Cochin's got Hurley so wide, he probably couldn't have got to him. So he's going to go more defensively and kick it sort of 
to centre half forward. Castagna the target. Kelly. He got him, Castagna. Butler getting the scraps. And then Crouch again. But he has to blaze. They need a mark. Asprey. Sloan. Little give okay. Lynch haven't called his name for a long time. Jenkins haven't called his name all day, to be honest. Can he do something here? He spreads it wide. Now Atkins is a good long left footer. That's not a good long left foot kick, though. That's a poor kick. It's a nothing kick. Didn't want to have a shot. Didn't know who to pass it off to. And there's one word that causes that. And we've said it all day. That's pressure. And it becomes perceived pressure, too. In your mind, you think the world's coming at you. Asprey down the line. Jacobs trying to lock it in. Sloan helping it on its way. Lynch. Beautiful Lynch. Beautiful. So Jenkins with a free kick. It'll probably come after the siren. Because he'll use his allotted time. And this will be the last kick of the quarter. And it is a massive one because it takes it from the 30s to the 20s. Psychologically, I reckon there's something in that for players as well. Jenkins now. His kick's only, only 40 metres. Virtually no angle. And he has kicked it to the left-hand side. Silent sounds. And he curses himself. But the Tigers stand and applaud. Another big fight. Tigers it's ready to go ballistic at the MCG Tigers by 34 about all finals but their execution has been perfect too clean, taking their chances. Oh, I don't see anything coming back from here, but you're right, Lingy, though. They have to risk losing this game by a big margin. They just have to take the game on, play on at all costs. So a half an hour to go. 34 points in front. We start the final term with a slight anti-climax as we reset. Can Adelaide hold their nerve and do something extraordinary here? We know they're a heavy scoring team. I'll have to break all the records. Martin breaking the tackle to Cochin. Called that a few times this year. Gets to half forward. Rioli takes a wonderful mark. A little too far out to score for him. Looks to get it inside the pocket. Butler Rose got his own crumb. Graham, he's kicked three today. Not this time, though. So the Tigers down 34. Nankervis let go of it in the end. Adelaide, as the boys mentioned, are going to have to find some early goals here. Because if Richmond get the first and second, it's going to be difficult. No, it'll be all over then. Already but, difficult. Yeah. Plus 22 contested possessions, Richmond, against a team that prides himself on winning that area. Superb. Now Curvis wins the clearance, belts it forward. Hey, boys, you just keep looking for something at ground level from the Adelaide Crows players. I mean, we're close to the action here, and you just can't see it. You just can't see the energy that somebody's going to provide around the contest to get them going. Let's see if they can find it, Tim, from somewhere. Rioli to do the ruck work against Jacobs. Gee, the game has changed, hasn't it? Taken down McKay. Ball not quite out. He's trying. Well done. Let him up. Let him up. Let him up. Well, on Tim's point now, it's the Adelaide players are reactive. They're worried. You see the arm across Dusty Martin. They're worried where Trent Cochin is. Worried where those small forwards are. Completely reactive to the contest. Revolt. Holding the ball. Advantage. Took it out of the ruck. So Matt Crouch with a high ball. Doesn't get much advantage. Doesn't get a far. And Lambert has been outstanding again today. He has. He really has indeed, Bruce. And that was a courageous mark. 60 metres out from the Tiger City end goal. Pops it to the square. Here comes Rewald. He's marked the ball well today. And this is the third of the big marks that he's taken. Jack Rewald will go back to give the Tigers a 40-point lead. Well, we spoke about his role today, and it wasn't about marks. It was about competing, and you're right, PT. He's marked the footy beautifully. He's competed. Now gets an opportunity to hit the scoreboard again. Yeah, his second goal on the go here. 
Kick one in the second. Reroll from 25. Stands and delivers. The Tigers kick the first of the last to lead by 40. You learn a lot on grand final day, don't you, about the winners and the losers? You certainly do. Here we go. And it is all wonderful for that team there. Their the game plan suits finals. And their willingness to embrace whatever role they've been given. So Nankervis, after Cochin created the chaos to give Nankervis the chance. McKay. And that ball still in, still in. Hardigan can't quite get it out. And you need, you need your superstars, you need your great players playing well, like Dusty has. But Kane Lambert, that mark that he took, courageous to go back, he's the one who then got the ball into Jack Rewalt. Players like that, they rise. The players with great character who do anything for the team to win, they rise up on grand final day as well. So important. Sloan, two first quarter goals today. He was on fire early. Ball hustled out the back door. Martin somehow took it away. Now he tries to take them all on. There were three of them there. The advantage paid. The Lynch kick is very impressive. Jenkins probably should have given the handball. Now goes wide to Crouch. Crouch was cornered. Probably should have given the first one. And now very deep and wide to Tex. Walker kicked the last goal 14 minutes into the third. Only kicked one goal in the second half. The skipper from the perimeter piping couldn't get it to swing back. Big pack and off hands. Cameron, or was it the smother, was. And Richo, I just want to know from you, you're sitting down there on the boundary line just for a moment. As you see, Cotchen here. Desperation again. He just throws himself, we know that. We, we... His final series has been as good as anyone's. Yep. And, and he highlights that willingness to play whatever role he's given. He's embraced the fact it's not about him getting 35 possessions and being that player. He's happy to do whatever's needed. Rioli. They can pull off some grand final tricks of Rioli's. Greg and that one coming back. So, Rich, as I was saying before... How are you feeling right now? 40 points up, 39 up. Nervous? <laughs> no, it's look, it's been a remarkable display so far in this game. We've got to finish it off, but they've just smothered the Adelaide Crows today. Sloan's long ball, Lynch gets across the front. Advantage, advantage. So the advantage now with Broad. He's done a good job, Broad. All these new guys have done a good job. None better than uh, Graham, the 19-year-old. Sloan coughed it up. They're on. Lambert got it from Revolt. Rioli's behind him. Lambert with a bounce. Lambert with a second bounce. Lambert goes across. Didn't really have to. Do you know what? It's target time. That's what it is. Prestia seals it. Enjoy it now. Just sit back and relax. Safe it up. It's over. Richo, stop yeah. mopping your brow. Just relax. <laughs> I'll try to, Bruce. Benny Gale and Peggy O'Neill up there. They should be enjoying it because they, they did a remarkable job at the end of last year. And now it's time to just soak it up as a player, Liggy, when you know you've got the game won. Absolutely. Enjoy every minute of this. He doesn't like kicking goals, Lambert, does he? <laughs> no, we saw those sprint efforts. So many of them have come from the small forwards. Players like Lambert as well. Prestia, oh, one of their there. big recruits. Stay out. Capping off the second of their last quarter goals. Laird, who's been in the Adelaide Crows best all day. 50 metres. And this will bring Brad Crouch. No, no, you needed to deviate right out. 
So coming in within the 10 metre protected zone. And Brad Crouch, as a result, will get an easy look from 25 out directly in front. For just their second goal of the half. Into the Tiger cheer squad at the punt road end. Crouch scores for Adelaide. Welcome right there, of course. The last premiership coach of this team. The only one beats him. Yeah, well, yeah. he's hard to be a messiah. Quite he is. And enjoys it. <laughs> Prime Minister of Australia, the Honourable Malcolm Turnbull, looking on, and President and Chief Executive of this footy club. Adelaide get their second goal of the second half. They still trail 47 to 86, a 39 point margin. Butler couldn't quite. Cameron. Showed a bit early. Kicks to centre half forward. Hi, Ottens. It's Walker's free kick. Hi. Dave Asprey will be Bad disappointed there. Can come around. Yeah, there it come is. Around. There, that right arm, as the umpire just explained. But he's done a wonderful job, Dave Asprey, along with that Richmond back line. Rance, Grimes, Floston. All of them have been superb. Hawley with his run. Well organised unit. Good kick. He gets his second. They get two in a minute. 33 points. They can score quickly, can Adelaide Bruce. Not suggesting they can <laughs> get that many, but they have had the ability to kick multiple goals very quickly. Richo, just have the hanky ready just in case. <laughs> I think you're safe. Well, you never know in footy, do you? They've got nothing to lose now, the Crows. So Richmond have now got two extras back here, guys, in their defensive okay. half of the ground. Or is it one? It's one. One extra. Here we go. Adelaide, successive goals. Back to 33, another one here. Brad Crouch launches a long ball. Ranch with a thumping fist wide. Here's Lynch. Look for the handball back inside to Cameron. Couldn't quite find him. Good tackle again by Rance. Gee, having a crack down there. And they lock it in their forward 50. So after Tom Hafey, there was Tony Jewell, yep. who took them to the promised land in 1980 there. Most recent premiership. Yep, he did indeed. And remarkably, at the end of 81, he was showing the door and... Didn't get to coach them in the 82 grand final. Francis Burke, that was. Jacobs, little snapshot. And a minor score there. So 32 points now. And Chris Newman, a former skipper there, as well of the Tigers. McIntosh, a target. Grimes from the side. Brown tries to hold up the run of Graham. Matt Crouch, 30 again today. I mean... He hasn't had the impact, to be honest, but he, he's got 30 again. No, he's been, I think he's been brilliant, Matty Crouch, for Adelaide, but when you haven't got other players doing it around you, you just don't feel like you have that same impact. Hasn't been quite as creative as he has in other games, but I'm part of a midfield that's been dominated. Seed's been taken down. Crouch puts a good tackle in. No opportunity. To be honest, the last five minutes is probably the best footy Adelaide have played since the first quarter. They've left it a little late. Here it is. They have indeed. 32. Time disappearing. Matt Crouch. Lynch. Cotchen. Grigg. Townsend. Wonderful trap. Difficult trap. Gives it off to Prestia. Been very impressive today. Caddy the intended target here. Hardigan interferes. Surely he won't... Pay the advantage. So Caddy has a free. Let's have a listen. Just in. Hey. Oh, sorry, I can't. Come around, Josh. Hardigan said he stopped me from jumping by holding me down. 
Thank you. To umpire Sean Ryan. Caddy, a chance here. He has one, and he has a chance to nail it completely shut, I would have thought. Those fans are ready to launch skyward as Caddy from 45 has kicked it to the left. If they go down the middle here with a long ball, do you reckon? I mean, they, well, they, they just have, have to be brave. Yeah. They decide to go short. Just got to move the ball here. I just, by doing this, they give themselves no chance. You may as well lose it by 10 goals trying to win it. So, Seedsman, long kick we know. Can he find the right target here? No one really moving for him. No real option. So, he has to kick to, well, kick to a tiger in Rance, and he's got it. <laughs> he's been huge tonight. He's almost, he may win the Norm Smith. I mean, the stats say no, but he's had as big an influence as anyone today. Well, he's only had 10 touches, but the influence has been in other areas as well. Castagna dropping the mark. Brad Crouch there now. Looking to load up Hardigan. Hardigan wide to Laird. That's why Rich Kelly it was. You've got so many players that have played well. Not an absolute standout on their team. Can't stop. Got to go. Got to go. Tex the one on one. Got the height advantage and the strength with Floston. Walker needs to wheel and go and does. That should have been 50. The Richmond player was in the way there. Now the kick goes forward up. They fly. No winner in the air. Off hands here. Cameron tries to brush the tackle. Can he get rid of it? No. The Tigers stick the tackle and get the reward. Oh, they've stuck the tackles all day. It has been a real highlight. They've created turnovers. Last week, Adelaide scored 111 points from turnovers. Today, Richmond have won that stat 59 to 24. So impressive. Revolt won a good one on one with Talia and gives Rioli a running charge. Look at this. The speeds to Brown gets back. Rioli with a bit of a trick, a second trick. Lever gets him. Rioli still gets his boot to the footy and gets the ball forward. What a play. just sums up the Tigers, doesn't it? He just wanted it more, didn't he? Good effort to get boot to ball in the end, as you say, Bruce. A little sore as a result of it, Daniel Rioli. Out the back, Crouch and Kelly. Pooley to Lambert. Now Martin. The crowd light up. Centering ball here. Townsend Lever with the only fist there. Knocked down. McKay, straight down the eye, diddle diddle. Cameron tries to shake the tackle successfully. Got her under Douglas. Direct to Protea. Couple of bounces. Just missed time the second. Couldn't give the handball off in the end. Now Cameron goes wide. So here goes Lynch again. 70 metres out. Could have gone to the boundary. Elected to go inside. And the smother by Floston. Oh, I'm not sure that it was deliberate, but it was impressive. Well, that's been Lynch's strength all year. In that position, using the footy, Rioli coming from the ground after that Herculean effort a moment ago. Jacobs worked underneath. Lambert getting better, if that's possible. Griggs' hands beautiful. Edwards arches the back, kicks it long to a very good spot. A very good spot. And Townsend, who kicked a goal from about this range, can do it again. See their matchups have worked well today. He'll give this off to Basha Hawley. Great run. He's the one who started it. And great run to get down inside 50. The Townsend's matchup on Jake Lever has been brilliantly thought out but brilliantly executed as well. He's done it all final series. First game against Lockie Henderson. He's done it today on Lever. It's had an enormous game. Actually, the Prime Minister didn't do him any favours earlier this year, Basho. He's watching right now, but he's had a spectacular grand final. Is it coming back? It's a behind. Could have finished with three goals, Yep, Basho. He's been solid. Wouldn't want to be voting on the Norm Smith today because you could throw a blanket over a number of players for Richmond. This has been a real team effort. Well, here's the man you're just speaking of, Townsend. Talk about fairy tales. 15 <laughs> goals in five games, Jacob Townsend, <laughs> while doing a roll. He's thinking, how easy is this caper? Three of them finals. Yeah. Liston medal winner. He would have been thinking, I'm just going to play out the year, maybe in the VFL. 
No, he's on the biggest stage, the MCG, about to be a Richmond Premiership player. 35 out. Townsend eases it through. Tigers. His second goal today. Nine minutes remain. Gee, what a role he's played again today. And have a look at this. The moment where they do realise. Yeah, they're soaking it up yeah. now. Yeah. And so are they, Duck. So back to 40 points. Townsend with a couple of goals. They've had nine goal scorers. As Wayne said, the Norm Smith's so hard because they've got so many good players. I mean, to be truthful, Martin's been as good as any of them. He's been solid. Everything he has done has been important. That one going wide. Good kick to McIntosh. And then McIntosh spears it inside to Caddy. What about Caddy? I mean, Gold Coast, Cats, a heck of a journey. Benny Gale there with Peggy O'Neill. They stood firm behind this bloke and their team about this time last year when everything was hitting the fan. They ignored the external noise, didn't they, Bruce? Yep. They ignored the noise, knew they had the right coach, gave him some support, and they've nailed it. As he got the trip, hasn't quite, gets to full forward, and it'll be a boundary throw in. 13th. 13th to 1st. No one's ever done that, but it's, it's the biggest, biggest margin ever from 13 through to 1. Yep. I mean, you just wouldn't have thought this was possible in the position they were in last year. It really is a fairy tale happening here at the MCG. It's happened slowly in front of us this year, but it's coming to a pinnacle here today. Barmy done so much since joining the Tigers and all the big four there. These two it won't be long before tears flow with those two, I would have thought. I think they're starting to well up a little bit there. You yep. mentioned Neil Baum, they'd say the perfect man to support Damien Hardwick in that Richmond footy department, along with Dan Richardson. But he uh, such, such a steadying influence. Right foot banana, oh. it's there. Oh. It's there from the boundary line. Look at the time. That's what it means. That's what it's like bagging for a footy team you love and work for. Remarkable scenes, aren't they? Just the overflow of emotion, the realisation. And look at Matthew. It's just been a day that it's, it's hard to envisage as to how it's happened, but it has. We had the dogs last year. We've got the Tigers this year. Flossed and wide. Lambert onto it. And it's not just the win. It's not just the drought. It's the quality of the football they play. They've been magnificent. Oh, look at this with think, his son. Yeah, I think that's his son there, Brendan Gale. And they have just erupted up there. There's tears flowing. Even our own Richo might have had one or two as well. Here's Castagna in front of Brown, flicked it back to Butler. He tried the soccer, didn't quite work for him. Martin, blistering, wouldn't this cap it off? Wouldn't this cap it off? And he misses. Can you one today, Martin? This is why we love footy. To see the emotion, the passion of these fans. We've waited so long. Oh, it's a special game. We get the pleasure of watching. 100,021, the official crowd here today. 100,021. Caddy ripped it away. Back to Jack. 
And then Revolt centering the ball. Martin front spot. Martin's got it. And Dusty hooking, hooking, hooking. Oh, that's that's it. Oh yeah. That's the cream on the most beautiful cake imaginable. The Brownlow medalist is a grand final winner. No one's ever done that. Won the Brownlow and won the premiership in the same week. He's the first. He stands alone, eh, in the history of the game. As a Richmond player, I'm talking about a Tiger to play in the grand final. First ever. I mean, Bartell and Ablett did it for Geelong. And we've had half a dozen before Dusty. We were the first Tiger to do it. <laughs> he's had a good day. Oh, he's had a great oh, day. The relief there. <laughs> so is that man. Back to the middle we go, but it's all academic. As the Crows through Laird, Floston has really had a cracker. Gee, he's shown his character, hasn't he? After a couple of blues early on, yep. could have quite easily gone into your shell, but no, nah, he's stood tall every time he's been needed since then. Weaver oh, will get the free here. Shepard while the ball was too far away. It's just never bubbling the ball. here at the moment. There's not one person that's left of the 100,021 here today, and I'm getting the feeling that every one of them is going to stay for the presentation. I don't think anyone wants to leave the arena. They're all so excited about what they're seeing, feeling, understanding of where the Tigers have been. It hasn't been an easy road for them. Walker, high footy, Nan Curve, a sensational grab, and what a great get he has been. What a recruit. Gee. Kicks it wide, cut off play on, play on. by Lever, who goes to the pocket. Cameron takes a good mark. Well, the state of South Australia will be stunned. In a state of shock tonight. They've had such a superb season until today. And uh, Cameron pokes it through for a goal. They're eighth for the match. The minor premiers, a team that we rated the best team all year. They've now got to go back to the drawing board. A couple of injuries late in the season hurt them, but they've got to work out next year how they can go again because we saw the way Richmond turned around a disastrous year last year. They can all change in a hurry. And talk about a, an exclusive club. Flags at three clubs as player and coach. Barassi, Matthews, Malthouse and Hardwick joins them as the fourth. Premierships at Essendon and Port Adelaide as a player. And now as a coach with the Tigers. Crouch. Cotchen is going to hold that cup very, very soonly with the man that Bruce just spoke of. Rewalt. Okay. And this really is a time for the Tiger players where they know they can't be beaten. They know there's not much time left and they can really enjoy it. Hardigan goes long. Nankervis is going to take the mark and he does. Nankervis, 3.44 left on the clock. Broad, just in his 12th game Two more for the Tigers. Just does his little bit. And I guess when you get down to the grand final, that's what they do. Everyone just does their little bit. Talia, Sloan, Edwards, Castagna, Martin. And now the human meatball, Dion Prestia, the all or nothing, and misses. Been good today, though, Dion Prestia, yeah. so good. 25 touches, one goal, two. Could he win it? He could, yep. Had a good first half, didn't he? That's yep. right. It'll be a blanket finish for the Norm Smith. He's right in there. Crouch to Douglas. Got a feeling Dusty might uh, have a clean sweep this year. Yeah. Premiership, Brownlow and... Norm Smith, he's been massive. Tell me, Bruce, would that be the first time yeah, in history? Absolutely. <laughs> so Laird on the up. Crouch. 
kicking forward. Cameron kicked the goal a moment ago. Broad, backtracking. Clever little kick to space. Grimes will let it run close to the line, and he's happy. Boundary throw in. Brantz again there just turns a 50-50 ball into a win for the Tigers. Doesn't get a possession. And there's a crowd, BT, that you told us about. So 100,000 people here. And it's just about being the toughest ticket to get for any grand final in living memory. And the Tigers could probably have fielded a couple of times with what's happened in Melbourne over the last month. And Adelaide have got enormous support, we know that. Just can't imagine what is going to happen in Richmond tonight. Oh. With what I've seen in the lead-up today and this week generally, with the pubs, there's so many pubs in Richmond, old school pubs, it's just going to be dynamite. <laughs> I don't know what we've unleashed, Brian. <laughs> be crazy. Jacobs played really well early in the game as well. Grigg in there. Cochin hasn't had to carry as much of the load. Cochin hasn't had to get 30. 25, 20, early 20s is enough. But Richo, can you actually speak or not, Richo? <laughs> Look at him. I don't think he can, Bruce. Beautiful by Tim there. Yeah. Cuddling yeah. the big bear. There's Dusty. Still got it off. Townsend. Clever tap to Rewalt. Talia got in the way. Kelly fast hands. McKay and Hardy can combine as well. And Adelaide will get themselves out of trouble here to Douglas. So Douglas, in the last minute or two, little kick. Sloan very good early with those two first quarter goals. And then Douglas to centre half forward. Mark taken by Asprey. It's a long time ago when we were saying that Asprey and Blossom were a bit shaky in the back half. They've been terrific. And here he is, the captain. It's just a celebration of all good things Richmond right now. That famous moment, we saw it when Collingwood broke the drought, when Lee came down and now Dimmer. So, Hooli. Big fly from Castagna. Crouch. Laird, so good early. Jacobs to Brad Crouch. Long ball. Walker, front spot. Good hands. And then he squares it off to Lynch. He does. Lynch time to go. Little short ball here. Knight. Long way out. Riley Knight. Clock winding down. 20 seconds. Knight will line up with a few to go. What a moment this is going to be. Very close to a man of the mark. The Tigers. 37 years and the Tigers are kings of the jungle again. It is Tiger time, Bruce. There is no doubt about it at all. It's going to finish at the punt road end of the ground. Massive crowd today. The Tigers are going to win the Premiership in 2017. The Tigers have got home for the first time in 37 years.
describe what's going through your mind right now? Well, it's just absolute disbelief, Timmy, but this group has just been unbelievably resilient this year and you're so wrapped for them, mate. I couldn't be happier for them. Let's see if we can't grab a few of the players, Richo. I'll see if I can find Trent. Trent, congratulations to you. What an ama amazing performance from the team today. Yeah, I think you know, today's performance echoes what we've been about all year, and that's 22 contributors. I mean, Dusty's pretty special, but the guys have been fucking outstanding. And that roar today, too. You go and enjoy it. Thanks, mate. Thanks, Tim. Richo? Yeah. Who have you got there, Richo? Jack. How good is this, mate? <laughs> It's unbelievable. So proud of the guys. Not only the guys out here in the Champions, but you see how much it means this group with the guys out here in suits getting get a game today. Mate, what about your coach, Damien Hubbard? Just tell us something about him again, mate. What was he like this week leading into the game? Uh, just stayed the same, mate. We've, we had a process in place as we've had. We've learned a lot of lessons over the year. We've had that same process. Who would have thought, mate? We finished 13th last year. Beat by 110 points in the last round, mate. And now we're fucking premiers. So, oh, you can say whatever you want, mate. Well done. You're a legend. You're a legend. We're going to present the cup, Richie! Yeah. <laughs> hey, Richo, I'm with Nick Foster. Nick, what a performance from you and the team again today. How are you feeling right now? Well, I've lost the words. I don't know, I don't know who to hug next. It's, I never even dreamed of this. It's, it's amazing. At, at what stage of the game did you start to think, OK, I'm going to be a premiership player? Uh, well, we got a couple of goals early in that last quarter. I was pretty confident. And then they tried to come back like we knew they would, but... And then Batsy kicked that under a goal from the bench, so... We're trying to celebrate, but keep it under. So the big come off now? Yeah, it'll come off the next week or so. Well done, mate. Go and enjoy. Thanks to you. Got Richard, who have you got? Dusty, are you happy you slayed a tiger man, mate? Oh, fucking up the chance, awesome. Come on! Mate, tell me, tell me uh, what were you thinking, mate, out there as that siren went. Look at the crowd, it's going berserk. This is going to be incredible, mate. Mate, this, oh, I, I honestly cannot believe it. This is a dream come true. This is the best thing in the world, mate. What about uh, Rancy down back today? He is unbelievable, that player. I'm so proud of Rancy. I'm proud of each and every player. Not only on the play today. Through the VFL, all the coaches, everyone involved, mate. It's awesome. Enjoy it, Dusty. What a year, mate. What a year. Yeah. Uh, Richard, I've got uh, Dion Preston with me now. He's got tears streaming down his cheek. Dion, congratulations. You're a premiership player. Uh, it's just unbelievable. Um, we knew it was going to be a grind all day, but we've, done it, we've just done it the last three games. It was unbelievable. It's, uh, yeah, we'll kick it in now. <laughs> That's for sure. I'm a premiership player. Can you believe the last 12 months of Gold Coast Suns to the Tigers? Nah, nah, no, nah, absolutely not. Um, I never thought I'd be here, and the way this group is, like, we just see, we just absolutely love each other, and that just shows on the, on the results. Mate, go and enjoy yourself. I'm just going to head over towards Josh Caddy. Hey, Josh, can I have a word with you? I know there's a lot of congratulations going on now. It must be like a dream come true for you. Oh, mate, it's, it's like an out-of-body experience. doesn't feel real. I just can't believe it. And it just all came together on the day again. I mean, your pressure, everyone's been talking about, but it was there again today for everybody to see. Good on you, Tim. Well done, Rich. Obviously, they're an unbelievable goals. side, and they've got, they've got a, great, a great defensive game and, and a great attack, and if we could quell that a little bit, be close by the half, would be a massive chance. Same way, and, mate, I just can't believe it. We've just got not only the 22 that played today, but the whole club so tight-knit, and every single bloke's a part of it. You see, Ivan Marriage is one of the guys that's turned this club around, and I just can't believe it, mate. I'm just so lucky to be a part of it. Congratulations. You're a premiership player. Go and enjoy yourself. I appreciate it. Thanks, mate. So all the President's men, eh? 48-point win on a beautiful day at the MCG.
And ladies and gentlemen, what a moment here at the MCG. As we commence our formal presentations, we firstly would like to acknowledge and thank the AFL's premier partner, Toyota, represented today by Mr David Butner. David, thank you to the team at Toyota for your outstanding support of our great game. I'd also like to congratulate today's field, boundary and goal umpires on their contribution to today's grand final. Well, it's been a tough day at the office for the Crows, and I'm going to invite the captain, Tex Walker, to the podium to say a few words. Uh, firstly, congratulations, Richmond. Too good. Thanks to the sponsors. And sorry, Crows fans, we couldn't get it done, but thank you very much for travelling. Thank you. We look forward to seeing the Crows back in action in 2018. Ladies and gentlemen, would you now please welcome James Hurd to present the Norr Smith Medal to the player adjusted as best of field in the 2017 Toyota AFL Grand Final. Thank you, Craig. The winner of the 2017 Norm Smith Medal is Dustin Martin from the Richmond Football Club. every young footballer's dream to be on the grand final day as on the last Saturday in September. And ladies and gentlemen, it is with much pleasure that we welcome 22 winners of NAB AFL Oz Kicker of the Year competition from the NAB AFL Oz Kick program, who will now present medallions to the players of the Richmond Football Club. Starting with number one, Nick Vlaston. Number two, Dylan Grimes. Number three, Dion Prestia. Number four, Dustin Martin. Number five, Brandon Ellis. Number six, Sean Grigg. Number eight, Jack Revolt. Congratulations, you're a legend. Number ten, Shane Edwards. Number twelve, David Asprey. Number 14, Basha Hooley. Number 17, Daniel Rioli. Number 18, Alex Rance. Great game, you champion. Thanks, 
Thanks, mate. Thank you. Number 21, Jacob Townsend. Number 22, Josh Caddy. Number 23, Kane Lambert. Number 25, Toby Nankervis. Number 33, Camden McIntosh. Number 34, Jack Graham. Number 35, Nathan Broad. Number 40, Dan Butler. Number 46, Jason Castagna. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, number nine, the captain, Trent Cotchen. Ladies and gentlemen, would you now please welcome to the podium Michael Malthouse to present the Jock McHale medal to the coach of the 2017 Toyota AFL Premiership team, Damian Hardwick of the Richmond Football Club. Firstly, uh, commiserations to Adelaide. Obviously, had an amazing year uh, and continued that form through finals. The AFL and their partners. I'd like to thank Richmond sponsors Jeep, Bingle, Swinburne, and Puma. To all our board, staff, volunteers. There's so many people that make up a football club. Uh, they put hard earned, spend a lot of time at the footy club, and, and it makes it a pretty special place to be around. Huge thanks to uh, our families, our friends, and uh, the boys. It's been an incredible year, uh, and I've just loved working alongside you all. And finally, a massive thank you to our fans and our members. You deserve this. Thank you. Once again, we played an outstanding opposition today. You're a simply wonderful football club, wonderful organisation. We've got a great respect for the Adelaide Crows. We thank you for the competition today. I'd like to thank the AFL. I'd love to thank our sponsors in Jeep, Bingle, Post Plus, the Swinburne Centre and Puma for Dustin. I'd also sincerely love to thank Mrs Hardwick, who's somewhere up in those stands up there. <laughs> to Peggy, Brendan, our board, we did it. <laughs> to my assistant coaches, my football department, the love of my life, the players, I commend you, blokes, you're simply outstanding. I've never seen a side like you. 
you're unique. I love watching you play. You're an incredible team that is now a premiership team. And finally, to the Tiger Army. This one's for you! And now, the moments you've been waiting for. I have much pleasure in inviting Tiger great Matthew Richardson to present the Premiership Cup to Frank Coulson and Damien Hardwick.